ass was fired up, so come on, drink it all night long. Slam it, girl. 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 Where's the marching band at? Thanks, Kathy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special Gracious Bears television program. In tonight's show, amongst other incredible events, we will be featuring our primary show, which is the unveiling of a brand new thing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we will bring you exclusive coverage of Gracious Bears official homebrew beer. Over to Jay in the field. Jay. Thank you, Krusty. Uh, yeah, we're here now at uh, the Tranmere Homebrew Centre and we're going to get our roaring lesbian on. Here it is. Land of the beer. We'll come back to you in just a moment. The beers are full wine. They, they, oh, haven't got a, yeah, they haven't got a solid top, top oh. on them. They've got like a, a hole in the mid of it. Um, I think Simon will have some of this action as well. Yeah, some of that now. <laughs> so much bearing. We're going to start with some of this. We're going to see how that goes. This apparently is darker than this. We've been advised not to go too dark to begin with because it's a bit harder. Stuff. You do. <laughs> it's all coming back to me slowly. We have a barrel. Get one of them. Some of this. Yeah, lovely. One of them. Okay. What we got? Sterilise your stuff. All this crazy stuff. And that's basically it. And then you've got to decide then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need Dozens of bottles. bottles. Crown corking machine. Yeah. And everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I lived in an old vicarage somewhere over Manchester way. Had it all in the cellar and the cellar flooded. Oh. That was bad. Oh, that... Hello. This is good. This is real good. Ones with the I don't know how oh, we can yes, That sounds crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think once, so I've got a bit, I think I've Still. Bit early, Reporting. Like, <laughs> Come back in a moment. <laughs> okay, we have the barrel thing now. I'll find a way in. Show you the wetters. Right, beer in there, pipes, sterilise your thing, thermometer, hydrometer even, and brewing sugars, not for your cups of tea. And that's basically what we've achieved so far, we're going to come back later to get more bottles, or bottles in general, and that is Jay Greasy reporting from uh, Tranmere Homebrew Centre in Tranmere. Back to Krusty in the studio. That sounds great Jay! Sounds like you got everything you need there. Let's cut across to the uh, studio now and see if we can see what uh, Jay's making in his homebrew with uh, me as well. Strange. Thank you all the crossing. Um, we're here now. In the kitchen, in the kettle boiling, the best. We are sterilising our barrel, which is over there. You can't see that. We've got instructions. This wet piece of paper here. There off of our beer tin, which is through that way. And now we're going to wash out that thing, get a lot of hot water, start brewing some fucking beers. Let's do it. There. Essentially what that smells like is uh, hot bleach. Nice. Give it a rinse before you slap the next lot in. So anybody at a gangbang will tell you. Probably rinse it off. I reckon if there's any excess chlorine, it'll just add to the flavour. Don't you? This is like the, the beer concentrate kind of stuff, eh? Yeah. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, it smells very peculiar. It smells like... Oh. Are you getting that? So what, essentially what we've got is a couple of 
finds the treacle. It smells like, I don't know, it's kind of nutty. It smells like something I can't put my, I can't quite place it. Can you smell that? I will. <laughs> Mysterious bag of drugs. Oh, it's just sugar. Just sugar. Fruit sugar. Different from regular sugar because insert reasons here. Well, apparently, if you use like regular like. It looks very fine. It looks like salt, actually, doesn't it? Yeah. If um. Bolivia, the finest Bolivian marching powder. Oh, sugar. Um. Apparently, if you use like granulated sugar, you end up with really. Weird tasting beer, it's not great. No, we don't want that. It's a bit foamy, that actually. Weird. Lovely. Okay. And what we need to do here is put all of this in. Mmm. We could do it maybe a whisk. What to help got? it along. Got a whisk there, mate. <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah. Uh, uh, whisk. Thank you. And what you end up here, or with here. Is that why they call it whiskey? Yes, obviously. Is that why they call beer whiskey? Yeah. What you've got, um, basically, the exact amount of sugar to water ratio that Kev likes in his cups of tea. <laughs> That's like taking so long to make tea because he's constantly pouring bags of sugar into it. I'm Foy. I Foy's gone down to two now, aren't he? Two sugars. Foy was on three at one point. I've gone to one. Good lad. Uh, whereas Kev, I think he's still somewhere around the eight region. That is fucking real. What's the, you could make a cup of anything if there's that much bloody sugar in it. <laughs> Look who's ringing me! You're shitting me. <laughs> Kev, you big bastard. Here's your brew. It's uh, going in here to our brew. <clears throat> Weird smelling bovril chlorine, um, six pints of sugar water. It smells really nice actually. What, what else can we throw in? Way? Does it? Where's sweet? No, it doesn't. It smells horrendous. Jay's a fucking liar. <laughs> right, so next step, uh, top up to five gallons slash 40 pints in cold water. Right. That's a five gallon mark. Oh, but he said. He uh, said. Um, for a stronger ale, Top up to 3.75 gallons. What kind of percentage were we looking at with that? Uh, well, I don't know, five, 
it's all pretty much guesswork. That little hydrometer wasn't really that specific. Mm. I reckon, do it up to where it says, that'll end up at like a 4%. Yeah. But 3.75, we're going to sacrifice 10 pints. Yeah, that's a lot of beer to sacrifice in the first so, batch. If we go, say, to the 20 litre mark instead of... Just, just over four gallons. Yeah, somewhere between the four and the five. That'd I reckon be, that's reasonable. That'll be a nice interim. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. All right. Customising already. Yeah, perfect. It's going to be our beer. Fucking right. said we needed to mix it, but I feel obliged to. Yeah, probably. Brew the whisk. Whisk the brew. Spoon the brown mixture. Mmm. Do you want to lick the spoon, mate? Uh, thanks, no. <laughs> Sprinkle the yeast onto it, no need to mix. Um, loosely fit the lid. Leave the shit alone, right? After that, pretty much. Five to ten days. Yeah. What do you look like? Like white pepper. So you've got sugar that looks like salt and yeast that looks like white pepper. Perfect. What a combination. Look really, at that mixing. Help this for distribution. Apparently, during fermentation, the yeast will gradually sink down, so I reckon, if you say don't mix it, so it kind of does it gradually. Yeah. It sits on the top and then will go down. Speaking of sitting on the top, do you want to affix the lid loosely? I will. That might add to the flavour. Mm -hmm. So, the beer is uh, in, its, in its lovely fermentation beer. Wow. Yeah, more than beer. Um, so, we're going to leave that now for the recommended five to ten days, probably ten days, maybe a bit more. Depends really. Depends on next time he's available to come around in. I shall come seat. around in ten days. <laughs> um, at which point we'll get back to you. Thankfully, through the medium of magical time travel, but not time travellers, uh, back to other crusty uh, in the drunken studio. Thank you. Okay, thanks crusty, thanks Jay. Breaking news. We've just received word that the beer is fermenting successfully. They've got it into the barrel and it will remain there for one week. After which, we're going to bottle it, it's going to ferment in the bottle for two weeks, and after that, oh man, it's going to be stupendous. Stupendous! Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, 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 sorry. Thank you, John Crossley. Uh, here we are again. This is 20 days since we started. Um, we did come back six days after in the recommended five to ten. You'll notice that 20 is double what it's supposed to be. Um, 
but we did come back after six and we did some footage which you can see right here. Jay? Uh, well my friend, it's uh, six days later. Welcome back to exactly the same place. Uh, we're wearing different t-shirts I think. Obviously. I am, certainly. I am wearing different t-shirts. So is he, check it out. We've got different t-shirts. Therefore proving it's six days later. Because that's not how it works. Um, beer down there. The beer is all uh, bubbly messy. Yeah. So we are going to. I haven't actually seen it since uh, since we brewed it. So I'm quite interested to see what it looks like. Uh, we're going to use your hydrometer and see if we're ready for bottle. So we have bottles now. I bought them. They're down there. I'll show you a bottle. In case you don't know what a bottle is. There we go. That's a bottle. Right there. It's like your kind of uh, German German style pine bottle, tall and thin, like me, as opposed to the J bottles. You want that? Cheers, mate. <laughs> you are so only joking. Um, other news includes when we went down to get the bottles. It's always a bonus. Uh, is a device to pull the lids off. Or call it Emily, apparently. <laughs> Just more importantly, a new beer to make, another sign is called Emily. I give you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gracious Beer's very own White Wolf. It's a wheat beer and it will be lovely. We hope. So, we should uh, get your barrel then. Yeah. Quickly to the barrel. Hello. I'm going to hand over the crusty to open it up and have a little look. Okay. And I will be armed up with the zoom. It's easy to make your own beer. Can we make stripey beer next time? I think that'd be a good thing to do. says bottle. We can see the yellow. It says bottle. So just pop that in. I hope it doesn't just sink and be gone. No, it's Bobby. Oh, look Bobby. at that. Going for a little close-up. Quick, do a cut, do a cut, get a close-up to a cut. Cut! Okay, so, you're probably wondering what happened there. Well, the battery died. Um, so, thankfully the beer wasn't ready anyway. We had to wait a long period of time for it to get into the yellow bit on the old hydrometer. It never did quite reach that. Turns out that because we did a variant on the old uh, recipe using less water, it was never going to get to the yellow bit uh, because of a slightly higher alcohol level, I think it is. Something like, that. Something like that. So basically, it's been ready for some time. Thankfully, it's not dead. I've tested it, it's alright. Um, but it, obviously, the beer needs to get into the second fermentation period. Um, so we have to take care of that. In the meantime though, we do have the label. Yeah. 
because we're not bottling it anymore, we're putting it into a big fat keg, just in case. So like they did in the olden times. Indeed, the olden times were the best. So in the meantime, there is the uh, lovely label, ready to be stuck onto said keg. So, we need to keg it. Okay. How are we going to do that? We're going to have to visit you in the past. In the past. Thank you, Bears from Tomorrow. Uh, right, so we're going to do the keg thing that we've done here is measure out two ounces of sugar to go into the barrel. So we can then do the fermentation part two thing. Also, uh, it's what? Oh, I see. Sugar, there you go. Admiral Andrew on the set. Sugar in. Now we have to get all that into there. So how do you do that? I bet you're wondering. Well, you do it with one of these. That should be fun. Thankfully, through all my years of living in Wallasey, I know a thing or two about siphoning. So. Uh. We're going to do that. Yeah, you enjoy that. She goes in. Take forever. So we'll come back to you. Mmm, what a lovely yeasty slop. Honest. Plus side, all the beer is now in there. There it is being bubbly. And the next fun thing is to put the lid back on. See myself properly, yes. Uh, put the lid back on, shake the barrel, apparently. So we're gonna do that. So pass the camera over to you. That's fine. Fantastic shot. Yes. Now place in front of radiator. leave that for another couple of weeks and then theoretically we get to drink it. What a joy. Oh wait there is one more thing. Um, hang on. Um, bears, bears from tomorrow. Yeah? What? You got, you got that label handy. Not fucking time travellers. 
So this is this is all picked up then. All we have to do now is wait for two weeks. Shine right through. <coughs> that working? Not really. Turn the backlight back off. It's just kind of. Mm -mm -mm. It doesn't look that clear, does it? Really? It's all right. If I'm honest. Well, it's only been in there, uh, like I say, a day. It's, uh, it's doing a settling thing. No. Well, it smells like a really, really high quality lager. Like a really nice lager, which is obviously what we're going for with our ale. Yeah, it's nice. <coughs> so we'll see if it's yeah. uh, drinkable. See if it's nice and drinkable. <laughs> Escalates in two weeks' time. Um, in the meantime, I guess we better get back to you in the studio. We don't travel interdimensionally either. Hello everybody, Hiya. welcome to the tasting room. I like 
satisfying. I don't like being satisfied by you. Creamy head! Oh god! Off! That, ladles and jelly spoons, is how you get beer out of a keg. It is. Into a glass. Uh, would you like to see it closer up? I bet you would. Come on, come hither, come hither, in a tasty cut, like this. Oh, that one's coming out a lot faster and it's going to end up a big head. Big, big head. I think that one looks like it's coming out better than mine. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what mate, you put it on the table and let it settle and I'll move the camera back to its original position. That sounds fantastic. Okay, have my beer. Looking pretty, uh, pretty like a classic pint of beer.
Só tem. That was a joke. I hope that was a joke. Lol for jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Look more like fucking Bray Wyatt now. Look at that. <laughs>